This video will show how to add crank on rebar. So let's start with this uh, concrete uh, slab. And we're going to add a reinforcement here. Let's say a bar group. So let's say here rebar. And then uh, no hook. No hook. And then let's say this one is 25, 25, 25, and 25. And then the distribution will be spacing, let's say 200. Okay, so pick the part to reinforce one, and then one, two. This one is a four, 14,000 uh, millimeter length. And then middle button of your mouse, pick two points to indicate the range. So now I have this. Uh, reinforcement here so um, since this one is uh, more than the uh, uh, what do you call that the uh, the market available length so we can uh, split this one into uh, let's say into two okay so from 14,000 we'll split this one into 17 uh, uh, sorry 7,000 okay so all I have to do is control P and then from the uh, plan view I can use now my edit tool, split, select the reinforcement, and then one, and then two. So now I have the splitted reinforcement. Okay, uh, first, how we're going to add the crank here manually? So in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is select the direct modification. Okay, select this one. And then select the first rebar and then as you can see in the direct modification you can see that there is a node there is a, a circle node here so this circle node once you click this one and move there will be an automatic additional of node in the reinforcement so all i have to do is to click and then move here okay let's say that one and then another click on this uh, middle node and there you go so now I have a three nodes here this is the uh, node that I need for my cranking so now I can just turn off my direct modification and then all I have to do is to select these two nodes here by pressing alt key and then right click and then move special linear and then going up is uh, the Z direction so that uh, I can uh, move these uh, two nodes upward. And then let's say the value is, uh, if this one is uh, 10, let's say I'm going to put 15 just to exaggerate a little bit. Then move. Then you can, as you can see, uh, there will be a movement on the, uh, uh, on this uh, uh, cranking. But, but because of the, uh, orientation so I need to change something on my uh, on plane so let's say I'll put negative 25 and there you go so I have uh, added the negative 25 so that it will go up so I think I need the additional uh, uh, value here so alt key and select and then additional let's say 5 millimeter move and there you go so now all I have to do is select this three handle Okay, and then simply move again from this point to this point and there you go so I have now the cranking on this uh, slab bar all right so now what if we want to use the component for cranking so all you have to do is uh, go to the uh, warehouse and then download this uh, rebar crank and then install that one to your uh, tecla structure and then once you have this so go to the uh, uh, application and component and then just simply type crank yeah and then you can see here rebar crank so now let me add additional uh, um, split here let's say select Again, the split, and then select this rebar, and then from here to here. 
then I have now the new setup split. All right. So in this case, uh, all I have to do is um, open this uh, rebar crank uh, component or uh, plugins. So we can I can simply uh, specify where I want to crank or which rebar I want to crank. And then you can see here the the good thing with this one there is a crank ratio or the distance. So you choose which one is uh, uh, much uh, needed for your uh, requirement and then uh, you can just simply change the parameters here so let's say apply and then pick the first rebar group so let's say this uh, bar and then this bar and that's it so as you can see here automatically it cranks the second bar but if you want to change the position and then modify so the crank will be this way and then if you go to the top view and then if you want the crank to be sideways then there you go and this one modify okay so this is how you do the cranking manually and of course using the uh, rebar crank plugins thank you